Hey legends, welcome back to another one. It's been um, way too long. I tell you what, it's been um, it's been busy around in my life at the moment. So I think um, the last video I would have left you with was uh, the news of the caravan and the uh, plans to travel around Australia. So obviously, um, life's been pretty busy with trying to get stuff organised to make that happen. So I haven't had much chance to get away and make some videos and. Yeah, all that kind of stuff, but I've kept meaning to kind of do a bit of an update video and kind of give a bit more information about what's happening in my life at the moment and what's the plans for the travel and everything like that. So, um, had a pretty sick start to the day today. I've got my mate Caleb up from Sydney and we're gonna, we're working on a little film project together. So, we got out in the ocean first thing this morning, which was pretty epic and um, come home, had some brekkie and now we hit the road and we're heading about three and a half hours away to Main Range National Park where we're gonna do a couple of overnight hikes. So I'm very excited for that. So I've got a bit of downtime and I figured it's probably a good chance to give you guys an update on what's been happening. So probably the first bit of news for me, and it's, it's a pretty massive one, is about two weeks ago, I left my job. So that was about almost 11 years in that role. So it was quite a, quite a massive move and a big, a big life change, really. I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's super scary. Um, you know, when you got a young family and kids and everything like that, to like walk away from a, a, high, a high paying role to, to nothing is, yeah, it's, it's super scary. And it's probably the reason why it's taken me a couple of years to actually make it happen. Um, probably needed to make it happen a few years ago and yeah life got pretty tricky over the last year with my health and everything like that but um, I'm super thankful to say like and pretty proud actually due to a lot of hard work and a lot of support from like my family my friends I've kind of managed to really get myself in a, in a great spot um, health wise I feel like I'm in the best kind of headspace and physical health that I've been in for years and yeah, so pretty pumped that I walked away from my job in, in a better place than I've been in for the last few years. So I was gonna make like a video about kind of my experience of the last year, but kind of haven't gone around to it. And I, I didn't really know if I wanted to make this channel about that kind of stuff. Like I'd probably be happy to do it if I had enough interest in it, but I kind of wanna, now I wanna focus on like the real positive stuff in my life and the, the future plans and everything like that. So. Yeah, it was really, really hard to walk away from my work. Like I have like a lot of like great friends that I've made there and I'm gonna miss dearly, but thankfully I'll, I'll keep in close contact with, with a bunch of them. So yeah, looking forward to kind of keeping in touch with everyone and, and, and keeping everyone up to date with what happens in the future. So yeah, I guess that was the first really big thing. And in between work in the last few months, I have been, um, well myself, I've been, um, really busy with doing some mods to the caravan. So I've had the caravan sitting over at my parents on the property just cause it's a bit easy to do some work on it over there. So I've been um, been doing like a bunch of um, mods on that, trying to, trying to make it a bit more practical for what we need to be away for at least a year. Um, I think I might do a proper walk around video of that again and kind of show you guys what I've, what I've done with it. But pretty stoked with how it's gone. Like a few things I've done is I have, um, I converted the, the three-way fridge into a, tw like, a, like, well, I've ripped out the three-way fridge and put in a 12-volt um, compressor fridge, which really happy with how that's gone. My, um, my dad helped me do, like, the fit-out for it, and he's done, like, an epic job. It looks like it's factory. Um, we converted our little dinette into, like, an L-shaped couch, which gives us a bit more room. Um, we're able to remove the table and have a bit more space which I think will be pretty sick. Um, we've installed a bit more electrical stuff. I added an extra 200 amp hour lithium battery into my existing 400 amp hour. So now we've got 600 amp hour, which should be pretty great. Um, I've added in like a external plug for Starlink and probably just a few other little things apart from that. Um, one of the main things we've had going on at home at the moment is a bathroom reno. So, well, it's pretty much Ash has been doing that, um, which she's doing such an epic job. So we've never done anything like this in the past and um, we kind of, we want to rent the house out while we're traveling. So we, um, we've had it been having a 
dramas with the drainage on, on one bathroom and we knew that it was probably going to cause dramas when we went away and we didn't want to rent the house out and then have to deal with it in the future. So luckily for us, um, Ash's brother, Warwick, who's an absolute legend, flew up from Canberra and did all the demo and um, ripped out the old plumbing and installed like the new plumbing. So saved us like a shitload of money by doing that and it was epic to have him up and catch up. But um, Ash is basically going ahead and doing all the tiling and everything like that at the moment. So we're probably in the final stages of like probably hopefully have it done in the next two weeks that's probably the, the big milestone that we've got to get done before we can head away on the road so we'll finish that off and then look to rent the house out and um yeah we basically got to pack everything up so i worked out the easiest way for us was i actually hot i actually bought a second hand shipping container um 40 foot shipping container and we're going to move everything to that on my parents property and just store it there worked out a, a lot cheaper than um, hiring like storage space and everything like that and then we can always sell the shipping container again in the future so hopefully that all kind of comes to plan as, as good as it seems but at the moment it seems super positive so basically like the next steps for us finish the reno um, we get everything into storage and we'll clean up the house and and have it organized to rent um, with the travel plan so I don't think I really went into much detail on this and I think probably because I didn't actually know the 100% plan. So at the moment it's in early August and we are planning to leave later August. Um, so probably about three weeks, hopefully. And basically we're gonna head out west from here, straight away. Um, originally I wanted to go up north, but cause it's a little bit later in the season and I wanna have a bit of time to do the NT as well. So we're gonna skip Northern Queensland and we're gonna head out west. Um, we'll head out west and then kind of head across to um, Ellis and do Uluru and stuff like that, which I've always been super keen to check out. Then from there, we'll head up into NT, hopefully do like the Gibb River Road and everything like that, and then across into Northern WA. And then kind of make our way down around that route. We've got to be back into the south coast of New South Wales for my sister-in-law's wedding in um, April next year. So we'll be back over there after the wedding. The plan is to go down to Tassie for a few months. Um, I'm hoping to do the Overland track in winter um, by myself or maybe hopefully a mate flies down and does it with me. Spend a few months in Tassie um, and then we'll slowly make our way back up north again. Um, and hopefully if we can make it work, um, we will then go up to Northern Queensland and then come back down again then because I, re I really want to get up there so as long as it's all kind of working out and travel's going really well for us what we're planning to do on the road is I'm not going to work I'm going to um, I'm basically yeah unemployed now which is pretty crazy to say um, Ash is going to keep working from the road so that'll give us an income which is amazing um, and I'm going to do like the homeschooling with the kids and everything which I'm super pumped to do like just to spend all that time with them. Like I've been working like a job where I spend a lot of time at work for the last kind of, well, for all their entire life. So it'd be epic to, you know, to spend a lot of time with them, do heaps of adventures and yeah, document it all. Very, very excited. Um, I think I might've mentioned last time, we're actually taking our dogs on the road. So we've got two little miniature dash hounds, sausage dogs. Um, we're quite nervous about this. Um, ideally, we were hoping to kind of be able to leave them at home and we're hoping like an offer might come through for someone to like a family or something to look after them, but it just hasn't happened. So we don't want to delay the trip anymore and want to make it happen now. So we're just going to make the best of the situation and, and take them away. Luckily, they're, they're pretty small dogs, but um, probably unluckily, the personality, they're very um, nervous and anxious kind of little dogs. and. They don't really adapt that well to people and dogs they don't know. So we're hoping life on the road will chill them out and kind of settle them into that. But it's definitely going to be an experience, that's for sure. Um, and probably like the biggest downside and like it was quite a negative point for me, but I'm really trying to focus on the positives for doing something like this, but not being able to go into national parks as much. But I, I think we've kind of got it worked out. Like, you know, we're going to stay at a lot of like free camps, hip camps, um, caravan parks when we need to. And we'll do a little bit, if the dogs are going all right, like we'll put them into some dog sitting and stuff in some locations. And 
you know, and then we'll just take turns to, to look after the dogs and do stuff with the kids and just kind of make the best of the situation. Like at the end of the day, like it's, it's more about spending time with the family and, and just seeing heaps of cool stuff. So we can always do another trip again in the future. Like we've got the car and, and the van and everything like that. So yeah, very, very excited to make this happen. And it's gonna be a massive learning experience. Like if you, if you haven't, if you're kind of new around here, like we've had nothing at all to do with caravans. So yeah, that's gonna be a very big experience. We actually took it out for its first run the other week out to um, Bloomer Creek. Like I'd finally finished a bunch of the mods and I finished work on the Friday, like wrapped up work and we're like, oh, we'll head out, um, we'll take it away for a night. Our, um, our good friends, Helen and Mike, recently purchased a caravan as well. So they were taking out their caravan and yeah, we went out there together to Bloomer Creek, which is out um, west of the Sunshine Coast near Kenilworth epic location um so we went out there and um just hung out for the weekend did a did a few little walks and did a bunch of um cold immersion therapy stuff in the water there which i absolutely froth on so yeah got in the cold water had some epic feels had some fires and had a really good time and to be honest with you it um it, it made the trip feel very realistic and i, I kind of didn't want to come back home again but on the positive, it gave us a bunch of things that we kind of worked out, like a few kinks and that we need to work out with the setup and change up and slightly alter and, you know, little bits of stuff we need to purchase before we go away. So it was really, really good to do that. Um, I think when we move out of the house, we're planning on staying on my parents' property for a week or two just to kind of iron out any further kinks and that. So, yeah, very excited. It's it's all, it's all happening soon. Um, I've been doing a bunch of mods on the Troopy as well. Um, I might actually do like an updated walk around video, like a tow-in kind of mods video of what I've done to the Troopy to prepare it to go away. Cause I'm guessing there'll be a bit of interest in that one. Um, but yeah, um, so at the moment I'm heading out west of about two hours into a three hour drive and we are going to, to get on these hikes, which super pumped like this video that we're making will be, should be really, really cool. I've never done anything like this and I'm very, very excited to share it with, um, with all you guys.